Hey, I think that's your guy. What the hell's he doing down there? He had some tortoises. That's what you just need to know. He had some tortoises. I mean, we read that. I was like, oh my god. Human head on the back of a tortoise. It's gonna be awesome. Currently, if you read the news on the Mexican war on the drug cartel, severed heads is a big calling card. The uh, cartel cuts the guy's head off and they put it on the back of a tortoise and send it across the border, and then it blows up when the guys touch it. Hey, welcome to war! I think that it's a quintessentially Breaking Bad scene. We wanted to put Hank to face the real war on drugs. Hank gets there and he gets the, the nausea again from the post-traumatic stress <sighs> thing. And that they start making fun of him, but that saves his life. As he starts getting nauseous, he goes back to the car. And all of a sudden, the whole thing turned to apocalypse now, you know. The whole tenor of that scene changes all of a sudden. You can't believe the hours and hours of meetings that go into doing something like this. You know, how do you mount a head to the back of a tortoise so that the head doesn't fall off, and yet without hurting the tortoise? His name was Otto. He was a 70-pound, uh, 14-year-old uh, sukari, I think. If you'd put a carrot or some lettuce in front of him, he'd just go for hours. He'd just follow you anywhere you, you know, because he's, Otto's into, into eating. We cast him, and then we made a, a, a turtle out of foam. The head was made out of uh, uh, stearic acid and um, it's like a type of a wax. They got to paint it, they got to put the glass eyeballs in, they got to put in every, every uh, hair of every eyelash and eyebrow. The work that goes into this thing is astounding. I've got it over in a cooler in one of the offices, Danny Trejo's head. You open this thing up and it'll freak you out because you think it's a, a real head staring up at you. The stunt guys actually get cords hooked to them and they get pulled out during the explosion. So they literally get pulled into the air on the, on the explosion when they do it. The hard part about it was we had to have a, an explosion that was big enough to leave a crater and look larger than what would happen. And they actually had the guy who was uh, holding, holding the head, they replaced him with a dummy because he gets blown to pieces. We blew up the dummy, had a mortar that would take the dummy out of the shot. That explosion was big. I was proud of us all the day we came up with that one. That was, that was a fun one. I thought it was a great image, so. I was like, I don't think we're gonna be seeing that on any other show this year.